Scientists have announced the discovery of the first instance of an avian-like or a bird-like respiratory infection in a non-avian or a non-flying dinosaur. The dinosaur fossil was dated to 150 million years ago and the animal now called Dolly probably had an infection that's similar to a fungal infection that's found even today in birds and reptiles. Dolly died somewhere between the ages of 15 and 20 and before death she would have suffered from the same symptoms that many of us feel today when we have a lower respiratory infection fever, difficulty in breathing, tightness in chest, and probably a cough. But we still don't know how Dolly died exactly. In this video, we'll take a look at what happened to Dolly, how diseases are now being found in dinosaur fossils, and how Dolly, who could have been a male or a female dinosaur, belongs to a species that is not even named yet. I'm Sandhya Ramesh, and this is Pure Science. The finding is the first instance of a respiratory infection similar to a bird flu that's found in the bones of a land-dwelling dinosaur. Just like all other animals, dinosaurs too of course suffered from diseases and infections. But in the fossil record, it's hard to identify any disease or infection that does not affect the bones. This is typically because soft tissue is unlikely to be preserved in dinosaur fossils for millions and millions of years, while the bones tend to be preserved. With Dolly too, the respiratory infection that she had had, had had an effect on her bones. The fossil showed that there were three bones in her neck, which had abnormal growths that had formed in response to the infection in the lungs, in the air sacs. The bones had been crushed and sheared and were very misshapen. Many birds even today produce very similar symptoms like this when they get their air sacs inflamed, leading to an inflammation in the bone as well. Air sac inflammation can be caused by bacteria, fungi or viruses. Back then, just as now, the respiratory infection was likely fatal because Dolly died sometime after she turned 15. But how she died is a mystery. Was she so sick that she could not keep up with her herd? Was she struggling to breathe and walk and move with the rest of her herd? Did she die of the disease itself or did she fall back and get left behind and then get hunted, which is not at all uncommon in the animal kingdom? Dolly was originally discovered in 1990 in the US and then the rest of her bones were found in 2015. But where her fossil was found, there have been fossils of other Allosaurus who were terrifying predators. So did Dolly die alone? Was she predated? Was she hunted? Did her herd see her die? There could have been many ways in which she died. Now, I'm saying she and the researchers are too, having called her Dolly, but they don't actually know whether she was male or female. Dolly, of course, is named after Dolly Parton, who many people and many scientists think is amazing and rightfully so. The name of the specimen itself is actually MOR7029, named after the Morrison Formation where the bones were discovered. What is also unknown is Dolly's species just yet. The scientists have said that in another study in the future, they plan to reveal the scientific name of her species. But Dolly is a close relative of the Diplodocus. The Diplodocus is a very recognizable dinosaur. It is well known and is a classic sauropod. Sauropods are the typical herbivorous dinosaurs we tend to think of. They have very long necks, very long tails, small heads, large bellies, and four thick pillar-like elephant-like legs. They were some of the largest animals to ever walk on land. And they are of course very common in movie and cartoon portrayal. Dinosaurs lived in the Triassic period first, where they appeared about 240 million years ago. Then they lived through the Jurassic and then the Cretaceous. They died off during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event 65 million years ago. By 150 million years ago, in the late Jurassic period, sauropods had become very widespread on land. Sauropod fossils have been found on every single continent, including Antarctica. 
But by the time the asteroid struck, a specific group of sauropods called the titanosaurs had replaced all other sauropods and had become the dominant group on land. But they weren't dominant when Dolly still roamed the Earth nearly 85 million years ago before the extinction of her species. Our understanding of the fossil record comes for the most part from how bones and other osseous tissues like teeth are preserved. All scientists stack all their knowledge on top of the bone and teeth structures and functionality that could be observed in the fossil record. But over the past few decades, with both improvement in paleontological techniques as well as genetic techniques, the field of paleontology itself is undergoing a shift. Now, those who study dinosaur fossils don't just study bones, but also study tissues and organelles and genetic material with improved techniques to observe and collect them and sample them. The field of osteology or the study of bones itself is also growing with all of this additional supplementary data and now scientists tend to have better understanding of things like nasal airflow and cranial anatomy. Such findings are now giving us more insight into how these animals lived, not just how they were physically built. So now scientists understand things like herding behavior, predator-prey interactions, courtship displays and from data from nests and eggs, they understand parental behavior, incubation and egg care and much, much more. Now our science is reaching a point where we're also starting to understand diseases that affected these animals millions and millions of years ago. Understanding such diseases in dinosaurs millions of years ago is still important not just for us to understand the animals themselves but also the disease and its evolution. Today, during an active coronavirus pandemic, the significance of understanding how any respiratory infection affected an entire species and then continued to thrive for millions of years is not lost on anyone.